Good morning, everyone. Um, it is a Sunday morning and it's a styled shoot morning. So I am going to start doing my makeup. I'm just going to do something um, simple today because Megan and I are going again. So if you watched our last vlog together. We went up to Prescott for a styled shoot. This time we're going to Queen Creek and there is an open house afterwards as well, which is pretty cool because um, we'll be able to meet couples and potentially book brides. So I'm looking forward to that. And then we're going to be doing two makeup applications and hairstylings. <laughs> um, I can already feel like I'm running behind, so that's great. <laughs> um, but I'm excited, it's gonna be really fun, so I'm just gonna do my makeup now. really careful with this part because of my eyebrows. I just got them microbladed and I was in the shower just now really having a, a time trying to not get them wet. with a bit of casual you had now. I love you. So these lashes are the Salon Perfect 614s. They're super long. They're longer than Ardell Wispies. And um, I've been wearing this pair for like a questionable amount of time now. Usually they get kind of grungy, but these are holding up. I've also really been liking this Kiss strip lash adhesive. I've never heard anyone talk about it, but it's honestly pretty easy to work with. It dries black, it dries a little shiny, but not bad. You get a lot in here. It hasn't dried up or got goopy too quickly. But yeah, I think that's part of it because it's super easy to pull off of the lash and some get kind of weird on the lash and then they break down over time but that one doesn't. And then um, I've just been spraying the actual lash part with alcohol and wiping it on a paper towel. So the result is some lashes ooh, that have lasted a really long time now. Okay, back to music. So this one though has lost like a little Chunk, which I didn't notice that until now. So potentially I should have pulled out a new pair of lashes for today. Cause that's gonna have like a little gap, but it's okay. This might be the last time I wear these cause they're getting a little wonky. <laughs> But they've had a good run, let me tell you. I'm actually really happy with my skin right now. I feel like it looks pretty clear and smooth, so that's a good thing. So, what foundation do we want to wear today? Pretty tan. 
let's just do the old, I'm gonna do the good old infallible. Also, this is color, um, well, that's interesting. It has the expiration right on the bottle. Um, color 445. Looks horrible. Okay. But that matches my neck so good. My chest is kind of pale. Okay. Next, gonna do some contour. Makeup Revolution stick in F13. make breakfast, do my hair, and finish getting ready. So I'm done with this guy. Now I'm gonna switch over to the Revlon blow dryer, which you guys have probably seen. It's awesome. And it's 1028 right now, and I promise you, I think I'll be done with this part by like 10.32. Mark my words. Okay, so it is 10.37. Just turned to 1037, so I was like five minutes off. And then I just have to decide if I want to 
leave my part there or not, or if I want to like switch it. It's kind of cute. See, you can kind of see when I'm brushing it down. This is just a little heavy looking, and that is because I put <laughs> too much rufist. So this is the Moroccan oil dry shampoo. Whoa. We're just gonna spray this. I like to let it sit for a minute and then I'm gonna massage it in, but if I keep chatting, I'm gonna be late, so catch you guys in a minute. <laughs> Hi everyone! We are back in the car, so we're gonna head to the art house venue now. We've got our Starbucks. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> Also got some little little foodsies and um, so we're gonna get headed out and we'll see you guys in a little bit. Let's drive for an hour to Queen Creek. Bye! Bye.
Thank you.